how do you do on this fine it is early i just got off work and i felt kind of motivated um we're gonna be fixing the taillight by just replacing it and i'll probably keep that because uh my z is the same e was it led fucking i think it's supposed to be the hrs but i think 06 plus i'll use the same but um because drift car i'll just keep it because mine may get more uh, messed up than this one Try not to cuss because YouTube has a great policy on that now. But from what I remember, this should be oh well it is missing a screw, so that makes it even easier. I believe it's just pretty straightforward on these. That should be a 10 because of course it is. I've not been uh I've really been doing any car stuff, honestly. I sold some of the bikes which will go inside and uh oh that is tightening it. Um I sold the FZ and the MT-07. Um, how is that not? This freaking thing is weak. There you go. Break it loose. Uh, I sold those. I still got the Groms. Actually need to do... Need to do... I'm smart. I talk exactly when I do this. But I need to do the uh, cam. Oh, no, the valve. Technically a valve cover? I'll show you guys in a bit, but it'll be the, uh, I should actually watch where I'm recording, so. But, uh, I need to do the valve cover gasket. Technically, I think that's what it is. Funny enough, it's not really a valve cover, but, should I put these? I'll put them in my pocket, and then I'll forget I put it in there. Um, on that thing, because, uh, when they were off last time, it did not seal all the way, so. It should be pretty straight for oh there is i forgot there's a pivot point right here so let me put this down i'm gonna pivot this off to do real quick oh yeah so there is that little pivot point down yonder and there's a little tab up here i wish i could oh i can't go back farther that would have been good to know this part's kind of the uh there we go that little tab thingy there goes under that little tab holder thingy there oh and there's a second one Maybe a third. So, take that off real quick. Should be able to just do the connect, I believe. But I do not know if the one is going to be hard to do one-handed. Uh, let me see if my uh, hand skills are that good. And get this off. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Ooh, professional. That's how you do it. Like a boss. So, we're just swapping this out because it's easy. Hopefully it has the other part of it, but... Um... Yeah, I need to do the uh, valve cover gasket, aka just put silicone on it. Shout out to, uh... What the hell? Does that stock one have it? I don't know. Maybe got fixed or replaced. Watch this be a special boy. But it works. So um I need to get that fixed because it leaks a little bit. I haven't really rode the ground in months, honestly. It's been cold as heck out here. Like 30, 40 degrees. So um plug this back in, put it right on. And ta-da, good as new. So that was super easy only thing that's easy on this car but next up we need to do my tires are getting low those just spares may not fall there that's okay we got a compressor so uh we got pretty easy install and we will be moving on to the ground next all righty so next up on the ground we got only the r1 left for sale and somebody should buy it because uh i'm poor and i need money but S1000 also needs to get an exhaust put on, which is right there. But, so this little, also the flange is messed up because I may or may not have uh, hit it on something. <clears throat> but anyway, as you can see, a little oil drip drip. Let's see if we'll focus. Can't be drip. But I do not know if I take that off, if oil is stored in here. Should all be down the pan. Maybe I should pop a dank nooner and uh make sure all it goes to the back but if i take that off there shouldn't be oil that pours out of it but there might be i could just drain the oil and put more oil in which is kind of easy but 
I'm slowly starting to lose motivation on working on this thing because I really don't write it until it gets warm. And even this just little oil drips, but should I? Let me let me Google it. Either way, this video won't be posted until I finish it, so y'all will never know. But let's do it. Alrighty. Well, I uh, decided. You know what? I'm gonna live by my uh, nice uh, preferred method of um, tactic. How should I say? It? Tactical uh, assembly. And honestly, my method in life is to just say, uh, well, send it. So I did not look anything up, and I'm just going to hope it doesn't come out. And if it does, fuck it, it's a Grom. The pinnacle of Grom ownership is though forwards. Fuck it, it's a Grom 5. 5 with an apostrophe. And I uh, probably should also not be using power tools to uh, take that off, because it probably has a torque spec in Newton meters. Newton meters? Newton meters. But it's what I have in my hand, so uh, let's see if everything breaks it. There we go. Oh, probably help if I there we go. And get a little wiggle wiggle. I actually let's do the top first. I'm guessing there is oil in it since that does have a bit of oil already on it. But, I'm not prepared as you guys can tell. So, should be quick and easy if there's oil in it, then oh well, it will just spill out. I do not want to get it on my uh, ratchet though. Oh, there's a little bit of oil, that's not too bad. Yeah, as better say as long as it doesn't got any exhaust and it does, but that's fine. So pour that out. Honestly, I probably should change the oil anyway. It's getting a little dark. Yeah. I'll swap out the oil. I guess I'll use a whole quart. But actually with this exhaust, I don't even have I changed the oil with this exhaust? I don't think so. I think I've messed up the head. But anyway, I actually just put that on the oil thing itself. Easy. There we go. Um, to that O-ring is caused the leak, so we're just going to put some RTV on it, throw it back together, call it a day, easy peasy. So, with this, with the OE preferred, uh, the valves are looking, uh, well, it's a new head, so the valves should be good, but, look at me, doing activities at whatever time it is, morning o'clock right now. Yeah, there's not much oil. Probably just the residual that's been leaking. That is very, very clean. Very, very nice. So, we're all good on there. A little on the exhaust, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so you can see that it's bent right here. I need to... Technically, I need to bend that down. But it works to kind of seal it. So, we're good enough. And I'm just putting more oil on the exhaust system. So, that's great. Anyway, so... Dry this, uh, dry her off. Her, it technically is a her now. Dry this off, even better. Put some R T V on it. Um, I forgot I'm supposed to drain the oil when it's hot, so uh, I'll let this seal and then I'll do an oil change on it. Okay, okay, so I'll dry this real quick. A bit better, more better. And just like that, hopefully, we're not leaking anymore, but. I'm just gonna let that seal before I write it because I didn't plan to anyway. But I'm gonna let that cure overnight and then uh, probably do an oil change over the weekend. I honestly neglect this thing a decent amount, but it's a Grom, so as long as there's oil somewhat in it, then it should be good. And since oil dripped out, that means oil was in it. But yeah, so got that. Got the uh, stunt boy over here that's slowly unstuntifying. I need to get the rear on there. Damn, that is a solid brake pedal. My S1000 needs to be that good. Yeah, even that play and that one just... Random. ADHD probably. But anyway, I also need to get mirrors because that broke off reasons. And this one, I mean, it's fine. Honestly, it's a Grom. That's literally the Grom ownership is just saying it's a Grom for anything that is fucked up. So, got the stunt cage that came off of this boy. 
I have the rear brake that I need to get the hub for to put the stock brake on the single one. Take that whole assembly off. Probably put it for sale because I um, don't plan to be a stunter, but either way, that's it. So, productive day. I did fix two vehicles, and uh, that's all you can really ask for. I'm going to need to magic erase this uh, wall at some point whenever I move out, but uh, I'll just paint it. Anyway, that is my rambling for today. Need to get the boba mounted. Yeah, bobas are fun. So, but uh, what else is wrong with the Grom? I wanted to do the tip on the uh, exhaust like I did on the S1000, but it's going to require a lot of cleaning and sanding. So, I'm probably not going to do that, honestly. Probably need to get a shock. I rode this thing a month, honestly, not thinking about it. But, anywho, that is going to be it for today's video. Just kind of an update. Uh, and my bike dealership is slowly windling away. Just need to get the uh, R1 sold. So if anybody wants it, uh, it does start running. We'll need a valve adjustment sooner than later and a battery. It will start up perfectly with the battery that's in there now, but uh, it needs to be jumped. And even if you jump it, it still at some point will need a battery because it doesn't like to restart. I think there's a dead cell in it. So that is that. Good boy. So, I say so a lot. I need to stop doing that thing I said in the last video, but that's it. So, like, share, comment, subscribe, and see you on the next one. Deuces.